Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we'll be solving another line problem, another figure in line problem, and the figure is this. Right? So we are to draw this using your line problem. Right? Now if you look at this very well, like I said earlier, we first of all draw the external length of it. And it's telling me 80. With this symbol, it means that what? It is 80 all true. So that's what I've got to If you watch my previous video, you see how I come about this. Thank you. So you draw on the horizontal line this way. Right? So you pick a point from the horizontal line. Let's say I'm picking this point here. Right? And with the help of my first square, and my C square and I'm going to place my C square my C square place it to this point right and I take it up so now from this point I can help use the help of my meter rule and my compass I'm going to measure 80 so if this is 80 from zero to this point my point 80. Are we good? So from here, if I measure my point 80, I'll place it at this point. It's at this point here. I'll mark up and I'll mark down. So that is 80. So with the help of my still my C square, right? I'm at C square, I place it at this point. I'm going to take them up. Can see that? Now, if you watch this very well, I am going to join this. You know, I've already measured my 80 here, so I can just easily take the same ridges. This is T80, you can see. Let's mark up here. So I'll place it at this point, and I'm going to join from here to here. Since I know what I'm doing now, I'm also going to join from here to here. And I'll join from here to here. I'm going to join also from this point to this point. As you can see. Right, so I successfully drawn the four points. Now the next thing I will do is to locate the center of this box. So it's easier to locate the center you use a diagonal of this square because it's square then you just draw this from here draw the diagonal use a faint line so this is my center here right so now what I will do is I need to look at this here now we are using center line to draw what we need here right so i can just convert this to a center line because it is symmetrical you use center line for symmetrical objects so what i mean by saying symmetrical objects i mean that if you look at the left what you see at the left is because of what you see at the right hand side so also here also i'll do the same thing at this point so in doing that i will have this I'm going to have this right so this is my center here now the next thing I'll do is with the help of my um, T square and my C square with the help of my T square and my C square I'm going to place it at this point right and I'll draw another center line As 
you can see and I'll move my I'll move it to this point also and this square to the center point and I'm going to do the same thing too right so from here so we successfully done that now the next thing is this if you look at this very well I've done all those lines now the next thing is to draw a center line that will go touching from this point to this point this point to this point to this point also and to this point is this 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 and this so that's what I'll do now by joining this point so I'll use this and I'll draw this center line also and here too and here too and here too Right, I've done that. Now if you look this closely, you call that this point here, which is this point here, is a center for this circle. Also, this point here, which is this point here, is the center for the circle. So all these points are center for each circle. So that's what I'm going to do, drawing the circle now. So now, so I'll place at the center here. And I'll gauge it and make sure that it is touching it. And then that I am going to draw this. I'm going to ensure that it touch every point of it. So when you are drawing yours, ensure that it is touching. Right? Go to the next point also. You do the same thing. So you should gauge it. So you get it. Make sure that yes is touching. You place it here also. You do the same thing here too. You let it touch all around. Just like this. You can see that? You come here too. You do the same thing. So you get it. So when you put it there, you see what I'm trying to talk about. This, this, and this. You need to gauge it and ensure that it is touching. So when you do that, you have something like this, right? So you ensure it touch through. Now, when you do this, you recall that there's another circle that's touching. A, a, a square that is touching each of the center. So I'll draw the square touching each of those center line. Now when I place it from this center line to this center line, from this center line to this center line, from this center line to this center line, from this center to this center here. Right? So, we've done this, right? So, if you recall very well, there's a circle that runs into the center. So, we're going to do that. So, draw a circle. So, from this center here, draw a circle that runs through the center. So, I'll be touching everything around. Mm -hmm. Two. To do that, you have something. This. Right? So, thank you very much. If this video was helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.